welcome to raw online now we are going to discuss a very important but often neglected topic a scorpion envenomation so scorpion envenomation is a very common medical emergency in tropical subtropical countries like our country and india the commonly affected states include maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu west bengal madhya pradesh pondicherry and odisha and the severity of the envenomation depends on multiple factors such as the species of the scorpion the body surface area of the bitten person and the age usually children are more vulnerable because of the lesser body surface area okay but adults do have pre do present with complications but mostly children are more vulnerable and the scorpions they live in warm dry regions and they inhabit mostly the crevices of dwellings the underground burrows under the logs or debris or paddy husk sugarcane fields or in the plantations they can be seen and they have a nocturnal habitat and therefore most of the stings are reported in the extremities usually at the night and the scorpion stings increase dramatically in summer months and are lower in the winter season so these two are the important species which is found in our country in india the most common type of poisonous species a more fatal species that is found is the indian red scorpion previously called as misabutus now called as hotentota tamulis which is very poisonous another species is your black scorpion so this is the scorpion uh, so it has a segmented tail okay which is usually curved dorsally it is curved dorsally like this and it has a the tail has a terminal bulbous enlargement which is called as the telson okay which has the pad venom gland and the stinger so if you see here so this is the bulbous enlargement called the telson and it has the venom pad venom gland and the stinger so coming to the scorpion venom properties in fact scorpion venoms are more dangerous than the snake venom but then only a small amount is injected that is a unfortunate thing about this so the scorpion venoms are again species specific and it is a complex mixture of many short neurotoxic proteins phospholipase a serotonin hyaluronidase and various enzymes the neurotoxins in the venom they alter the voltage dependent ion channels the important neurotoxin is the alpha toxin which acts on the sodium channel okay it acts on the uh, sodium channel and it opens the sodium channel at the presynaptic nerve terminal and it prolongs the depolarization of the sodium channel uh, we'll see this in detail and other important uh, venom composition is your phospholipase a which causes gastrointestinal and pulmonary hemorrhages and also coagulation disseminated intravascular coagulation so the scorpion venom we are discussing about the scorpion and the scorpion venom found in asia okay and especially in india uh, so the venom the mechanism of action as i said neurotoxins are very important composition in that and of that alpha toxins are very important neurotoxin so this alpha toxin it binds to the sodium channel of the presynaptic cell membrane and it inhibits the inactivation of the action potential that means it prolongs the action potential it prolongs the depolarization of the presynaptic nerve terminal so what does this result in so this causes overactivation of the presynaptic nerve terminal and excessive release of the acetylcholine and the norepinephrine so as excess release of acetylcholine from the parasympathetic ganglia and there is release of norepinephrine and epinephrine from the sympathetic ganglia and adrenal gland ultimately this is going to cause an autonomic stop 